Andy Cedillos from the United States, uh, part of the uh, U.S. Embassy. And uh, we formed a team of about nine people from the U.S. Embassy uh, that we ended up running the Ultra Mirage uh, Marathon. And uh, we decided that our name, uh, we uh, chose our name as Team Masawi. to honor uh, Lieutenant Taufik Masawi, Allah Yarhamu, uh, who passed away, um, paid the ultimate sacrifice on March 6th in front of our embassy during a suicide attack. So we wanted to do uh, something as a small gesture to honor him, but also so that his family is not forgotten. So when it was time to submit the names for the race team, uh, you know, I texted uh, Amir, the race director, uh, personally, and I just said, hey, you know, we'd like to name, name our team Team Masawi. And he wrote back and he said, sure, I just, do you mind asking uh, who, who is that or why? Uh, and I, I told him, I said, you know, it's uh, it for Lieutenant Taufik Masawi, to, uh, to honor him and his sacrifice that uh, he paid the ultimate sacrifice on March 6th. And something that, you know, I was not expecting, we as a team were not expecting, but a mere and uh, kind of reflection of, you know, his whole production team or his whole team is that, you know, he just said after a pause, I remember he, he texted back and said, friend, please, wow, I am speechless. Uh, you know, we would like to uh, donate the race fees to the family of, of um, Lieutenant Masawi. So I thought that was, you know, we were not expecting that and that was not the, uh, the purpose behind it. But that, that says a lot about, uh, about you know, the organization, about what the uh, Ultra Mirage is, is all about. So I found, uh, I found the race actually back in um, about April when, when all of Tunisia, we were here and there was a curfew, it was a lockdown. We were stuck at home in quarantine, you know, with the majority of the, the whole country. And I was looking online and uh, I wanted to find some type of race. I love running, so I wanted to find something that I could do so I could set a goal and something to look forward to. And I Googled and I came across this race and I was immediately interested and I said, not only does it, I, I've been wanting to do an ultra marathon, but also to enjoy the Tunisian landscape, especially the Sahara and Tozer. I said, I'm in. So without a doubt, I, I said, I'm going to do it. And then little by little, I started telling some friends and spreading the word and uh, we're able to form a team of about nine people. So we, we were training, we know we would do runs. Um, I've done marathons in the past, but a lot of the other teammates um, haven't. So we, we put together races or runs during the week to practice. And uh, little by little, we would start uh, just preparing as it got closer. You know, another aspect that was also against us was COVID. So, you know, as cases would spike, we would hope that, um, that it wouldn't end up affecting the race. And thankfully, Alhamdulillah, it was able to go and we were able to, uh, to participate in the race. So the, uh, the experience, so uh, after, you know, completing the experience was uh, fantastic. We had an amazing, incredible experience. Uh, one of those events that I personally will never, never forget. You know, the running the race when you're out there on the landscape in the, in the desert is just you and nature. And, uh, you know, running uh, on the sand through miles in the, in the Sahara was something that was... Um, you know, for me, I love running because it helps you kind of connect and, um, you know, kind of just get your mind and you get to uh, really think about what's, what's important in life. At least for me, that's what I enjoy running. Um, you know, it helps me able to just uh, let my mind roam and out there in the Sahara was, uh, was a beautiful event. In addition, you know, the, the race itself, um, you know, being there from beginning to end. It was a, a safe, environment uh, really well done event also with the COVID mitigation measures that uh, I know the race team paid a lot of attention to um, that's something that we you know everybody is paying attention to so to do a race um, in these conditions not only you know in the Sahara but also having the the effect of the COVID around you is something that I think we'll never forget um, you know the year 2020 will be one of those years that we'll always remember for for many reasons but Thankful to the race team, the entire race crew of Ultra Mirage that did a, a top-notch uh, from start to finish. 
and really protecting all the runners. Yeah, so I would absolutely recommend this race. Matter of fact, I hope one day, and uh, I would like to, and I want to come back, and I will, to do the 100 kilometer race here in, uh, in Tozer. So it's, it's one of those events um, that's really unique. I don't think, you know, I looked around and searched. I don't believe there's another race that, that captures uh, the beauty, the essence of, uh, of the Tunisian desert, the Sahara. Uh, and then also just an, an unbelievable experience as a runner going through, you know, I'm running there, I'm seeing wild camels. I remember around mile or a kilometer, 20, 25, I think, I come across an oasis. Um, and then as you're running, you know, it makes you appreciate the things in life. So even such things as like water, as uh, life, you know, you're running through this and, and in my mind, I'm kind of going through a, you know, just a, a really cool experience um, being in the desert looking at it from uh, from the ground in Tozer. Um, but overall, I would absolutely recommend this race to all my friends. Matter of fact, everyone I talked to about it, they, they, uh, they love it. They want to hear the story. And a lot of people, I think, hopefully next year, we'll have more uh, representatives from the United States. And uh, I hope to be there um, back uh, for the 100 kilometer one day. So one of the, uh, another unique aspect of this race is that we as a family decided to make it a family event. Um, my wife, our two young kids, ages four and two years old, uh, we said, all right guys, we're gonna do a road trip, load up the car, and uh, we're going on an adventure. So that was another aspect of it. We, we, as a family, our kids were super excited. Of course, they're always winning in the car, you know, with uh, eating snacks and whatnot. But as we, we decided as a family that, you know, Yes, it's a risk, but it's a risk that we as a family are willing to take because, you know, life is short at the end of the day. And the way I live my life is that I don't like to have any regrets. And if I didn't do it, I would feel, you know, more bad about not having done it than, uh, you know, what if, what could have been. So we decided, you know what, we're going to go ahead and do it. And we're going to take the, the safety measures and make sure that we mitigate the risk as a family. Uh, but you know what, life goes on. So you have to go ahead and just, uh, you know, you can't be afraid to go out and uh, take an adventure. So we went out there, drove uh, you know, close to seven hour road trip down south in Tunisia, looking at the beautiful landscape as we're going by, seeing the, uh, the camel crossing signs. Our kids love you know, seeing all the, the camels. So once we were there running, um, you know, I remember vividly as, as uh, you know, waking up that morning, putting on my race outfit, putting on my gear, doing my checks, and our kids, my kids are there looking at daddy going, what are you doing daddy? Um, you know, putting on all his uh, gear. And then as the race, I remember at the, you know, coming towards the finish line, um, after about eight hours of running, you're a little bit, you know, you're kind of there, you're kind of in and out, but I see my, my family come running up to me. And for the last, um, you know, maybe 100 meters, um, I was running with my two kids and my wife was there taking, taking video. <clears throat> and, um, you know, those moments right there, that's what makes it all. That's what it's all about. So it was a, it was a great experience. And, um, you know, my kids actually, they saw the video afterwards on the website and uh, they saw, they seen the video. They're like, daddy, there you are, daddy. So it was a, it was a really neat event. And um, I'm happy that we did it and we took the chance. And that way it shows that, you know, it shows our kids an important lesson in life that, you know, you got to go out. And if you want to do something, you just got to set your mind on it, focus, and uh, you can make it happen.